several years ago, we started thinking about how we might be able to deliver the WOW in um, 270 and continue to think about what quantum cruising is all about. And, and technology was a big part of that. It takes the insight of somebody like Royal Caribbean to, to say, hey, why, you know, why don't we put robots on a ship? We are doing something that has never been done before. Cruise ship entertainment really has moved up. We're really becoming a leader as we have always been, but taking that to another level in the development of entertainment. We got together with ABB. They introduced us to Andy Fleesus, whose pet name is Andy Robot. He's a very, very creative individual. In terms of the world of robotics, other than things that are going on on Mars, this is the most complex robotics project on the planet right now. We have all of the primary equipment come together in one spot, the robots, the screen, the controllers, and we're hooking them all up and saying, hello world, we're firing everything up. He uh, loves his robots, he thinks of them as people. He has been a partner with us throughout the development of the robotic program for 270. In my world, it's more like the choreography of the robot and how it is moving to the music and how it's interacting with talent that's walking around and it's being in time to these things. These robots are the robots that are going to be on the ship. So we're going through the final testing phases here at ABB. Six screens on the six ABB robotic arms will be used in 270, and these will be on a movable gantry. So it will be lowered from the ceiling into a play position. So it will be multi-layered in terms of an audience. They'll be able to appreciate a, a very dynamic 3D experience. We really can't wait to see it come to life. And more importantly, watch the guest's reaction um, because there's really going to be a lot of magic connected to these shows in 270.